All right, so we're looking at another um, application in what that's a terminology in what all this neonate stuff, neonate stuff, neonate stuff, right? So this is what is known as what the cerebral placenta ratio. Cerebral placenta ratio. Okay. So for the cerebral placenta ratio, we'll look at what it is and basically the applications and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Right, so moving towards this um, cerebral placenta ratio, uh, we said that what cerebral placenta ratio is a obstetric what ultrasound measurement. Okay, so it's applied in all those baby stuff and all of that. So it's used to access for the what well-being of the baby. So it is calculated by what dividing the pulsatile index of the cerebral uh, of the middle cerebral artery by the what positive index of the umbilical artery so you are looking at what if the the middle cerebral artery becomes large you measure it do you understand the umbilical artery as it's beating you measure it that you divide it like that so it predicts adverse pregnancy outcomes so an abnormal cerebral placenta ratio may indicate placenta insufficiency or the baby is distressed or there's an increased emergency for caesarean delivery. All right. So it helps to access fetal circulation. So it suggests maybe redistribution of blood to the brain, which can be a sign of what fetal adaptation to if there's reduced oxygen supply. So it's also using what growth restricted fetus. So you, you can be using monitoring if a baby uh, the growth in triterine is like restricted so for normal one indicates that it's a balanced flow between blood uh, uh, balanced flow of blood between what the brain and placenta the low one suggests that placenta dysfunction or fetal distress require closer monitoring All right so this is how a chart of it would be like All right not that just to tell you guys what it is you understand definition meaning and all of that okay so that's just it for this one Bye for now.